Hello, today we are multiplying polynomials. This is a fun topic, at least I think it's fun, hopefully you do too. So that's why I put a yay here, because it's exciting. All right, so we've already worked with multiplying polynomials, believe it or not. If you worked with this right here, three times the quantity x minus two, that is multiplying polynomials. Three is a monomial, and x minus two is a binomial. So a monomial times a binomial. It's, mul it's polynomials, multiplying. So what you do when you've done this, you do the distributive property. You multiply three times x and three times that negative two. And you get three x minus six. Now, you never really are expected to do this middle step when it's so simple, but when it gets complicated, you might have to. Let's try the next one. So it's very similar. It's still a monomial times a binomial, but now that monomial is just x. So x times 2x, just the same. And now we have to remember our rules for multiplying exponents, and x times a 2x is really like a 1x times a 2x, right? And then x times a negative 5 is an x, 1x times a negative 5. So then when you multiply 1x times 2x, that's 2x squared. 1x times negative 5 is negative 5x. So then this monomial times binomial gives you a binomial. All right, cool. So now number three, we've got a monomial, but it's not times a binomial. It's times a polynomial, four terms. So you need four answers. Keep that in mind. If you've got four terms here, you're going to end up with four answers when it's times a monomial. So I'm multiplying that 3x squared times that 2x cubed. So 3x squared times 2x cubed. Then I'm multiplying and you could multiply this before you move on. It might make it easier. Let's try that. So I have 3x squared times 2x cubed. I do 3 times 2. That's 6. And x squared times x cubed. I'm adding my exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. So I have 6x to the fifth power. That should be all together because it's being multiplied. All right, cool. So now this term is done. Next term, 3x squared and it's positive, times negative x squared. 3x squared times negative x squared, well, this is like a negative 1. Now, positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. x times x squared, combine your exponents. This exponent's really like a 1. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So I have 3x cubed. This guy is done. Now i got to multiply 3x squared times positive x, 4x. So plus. 3x squared times 4x. 3 times 4 is 12, both positive, so it's positive. x squared times an x is an x cubed. Hey, cool. Now, one more. 3x squared times negative 3. Oh, I messed up somewhere, huh? Yeah, this was not a 3x. That was a 3x squared, making that a 4. Cool. Now back to where we were. 3x squared times negative 3 is 3x squared times negative 3. Negative 9x squared. So now any of these the same? 5, 4, 3, 2. Nope. So this is my answer. Yay. All right, cool. So now I've got, uh-oh, no more monomials. I've got a binomial times a binomial. It's still the same thing. You still have to multiply a times 2a and 1. And you need to multiply 3 times 2a and 1. Okay, so you have to do first a times 2a, which is 2a squared. Then I need to do a times 1, which is positive 1a. Don't forget, you need a sign in between, whether it's positive or negative. These are all positive. Then I need to do the 3. Positive 3 times 2a is 6a. Then I need to do 3 times 1, which is 3. Hey, in this case, I do have like terms. I've got these two middle terms are the same term. They both are a's. 
So my 2a squared comes down and my positive 3 comes down. And 1a and 6a is 7a. Great. All right, so one last thing to show you, and it's really just a new method. Not really. We'll start with, wow. So I've got here a trinomial times a binomial. Same thing. You've got to multiply 3y squared times 2y, and you get 6y cubed. Then 3y squared wow. times negative 3, and you get negative 9y squared. Now this one is done. Now I'm working here. Negative y times 2y, I get negative 2y. Negative y times negative 3, I get positive 3y. Last one to do, 5 times 2y, 10y. And 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So now, do I have anything the same? 6y cubed, nothing like it. Write it down. Nah, negative 9y squared, yes, I've also got this 2y squared right here. So negative 9y squared and a negative 2y squared, when I combine them, is a negative 11y squared. And then 3y and 10y, they're 13y. And lastly, nothing the same as that negative 15. Here's another method that some of you might like more. Instead of just like using the distributive property, there's a table method. So you write your trinomial times your binomial, and you make a table out of it. And what you do is you multiply each term like it is. So 3y squared times that 2y, and 3y squared times that negative 3, negative y, and so on. And then you combine the things that are the same. And you notice 6y squared minus 11y, sorry, 6y cubed minus 11y squared plus 13y minus 15. Hey, it's the same thing. So either way. Cool.